Hi everyone, welcome to Mandy Mandarin. I'm Mandy. In the last episode, I talked about how do we prepare for the Chinese New Year, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how do we celebrate on Chinese New Year's Eve and the New Year. The last day of the year is 除夕 In the early morning of 除夕 we need to rip off the old 春联 and stick a new one to the wall. We are using a special glue that is made of sticky rice. The glue is purely natural, and it could stay on the walls for the whole year. We stick a pair of chunlian on both sides of the door, and the small one above the door. The characters on the chunlian are all lucky words, like good luck, make big fortune, have a prosperous careers, etc. And chunlian will be on the wall for the whole year. We will replace them on the next New Year's Eve. Besides the big chunlian, there is a small one you can stick inside your house, like this one, Shang Luo Ping An, which means go up and down safe and sound. We stick it to the staircase. Based on the tradition, usually the oldest sons carry the responsibility for sticking the chunlian. In the modern days, daughters can do it as well, but this time I'm gonna let my big brothers to do it because I need my hands to hold this camera to make this video. On New Year's Eve, after the shower, we will put on some new clothes, new clothes for the New Year. I prepare some new clothes for my cat. I think she likes it. And a pair of new pink socks for me. In the evening, the whole family will have a big dinner together. We call it Tuan Yuan Fan, which means reunion dinner. It is the most important meal in the whole year. A lot of people travel a long distance to go back home to have this meal. In Cantonese style, usually there will be some chicken, some seafood, or fish. After the dinner, around eight o'clock in the evening, there will be a show broadcasting in the whole country, which is Chun Jie Lian Huan Wan Hui. In short, it is Chun Wan. Which means Spring Festival Gala Evening. In the old days, almost every family in the whole country will watch this live show, but nowadays, people would love to have some fun elsewhere. For example, in Guangzhou, people would like to hang ba gai, which means walking around the flower market street, or play mahjong. Watch movie and so on. In the countryside, people definitely love setting fireworks. New Year is the best time to have fun. At the same time, show off your money to your neighbors by setting tons of fireworks. Thank you, all my neighbors, so I can enjoy this free fireworks show for six hours on the New Year's Eve. Apparently, my brothers want to have some fun and show off a little bit, so he invites me to go out to the square to set up the fireworks. Even though I'm afraid of setting fireworks by myself, but I do enjoy watching somebody else setting fireworks. So I went out with my junk food snacks, so I won't get bored when I'm waiting for them to set up the fireworks. This is my brother trying to scare me, just like a lot of other people. But I decided to show off my power by playing this and giving away my snacks. <laughs> Two hours later, we went back home because we should be ready for the midnight firecracker. Now it's 11:45 in the evening. It's all in peace and quiet. Because everybody is preparing their own firecrackers. Now it's twelve o'clock sharp.
time for the firecracker. If you are wearing a headset, I would strongly recommend you to turn the volume down to protect your ear, because I'm going to play the video with the original sound. Based on the Chinese legend, there is a monster called Nian, and this monster Nian will come to the village and city to harm the citizens and villagers. If you set firecrackers, you can scare the Nian away. So that's why we set fireworks. Now let's go back to the rooftop. You can see the smoke in the air. That's firecracker smoke. That's not a war. And fireworks keep going for half an hour at least. I'm kind of worried about my cat, so I rush back to my room and check if they're okay. And see this. day of the new year, you will see a lot of firecrackers wrapping paper on the floor. But careful! On the first day, you can't clean it because it means that you sweep the fluck away. So on the first day of the new year, you stay away from the broom. This is the only chance in the whole year that you can find good reason for not cleaning the floor. Also, it's time to give away your money. The married people give the red pocket to the unmarried people. Luckily, I'm in Guangdong province where you don't need to put a lot of money in the red pocket. Otherwise, I'm broke already. In Guangdong area, people usually give 10 to 50 RMB to friends or friends kids. And 100 to 500 oh RMB for the family. In some provinces in China, people put 500 to 2,000 RMB in the red pocket for friends, and 2,000 to 20,000 RMB for the family. Kids are the happiest people in the world because they can receive a lot of red pocket from adults. <laughs> After breakfast or lunch, it's time to go out and walk around. We call it Hang Dai Wan in Cantonese, which means have a lucky walk. So as you can see, there's a lot of cars and people on the street. After waiting in lines for hours, finally, I get my coffee and lemon tea. It's New Year now. Some shop will offer a special design like this lemon tea. It comes with a tiny margin and it's a perfect way to promote their product because people like me, I would want to drink a lot of lemon tea so I can collect the whole set of margin. And these are some pancakes and barbecue. There are so many people on the street Finally, I found my seat, and here's my snacks. This is a squid fried hot dog. Pretty nice, actually. These are some internal organs of an ox. To be very specific, their liver and kidney. And there are some white carrots and tofu. The weather is pretty good today. It's a little bit cold, but sunny. So I just walking around in this square and watch the lion dance show. Before you ask, this is dragon dance, Wu Long. And this is lion dance, Wu Shi. Here are two young girls dressed with Han Fu. Han Fu is a type of Chinese traditional dress. It varies from different dynasty, like there are Tang style, Song style, Qing style. Here is an auntie and an uncle stretching their legs, and this uncle singing karaoke in the public, which is quite common in the park. 
This is me still care about fashion, and my theory is the color has to match. That's it. Back to home, it's time to watch TV. The broadcaster on TV all dressed up in the New Year style, and this is the famous TV show *Xi You Ji*, *Journey to the West*. This TV show is adapted from the novel *Journey to the West*, which is published in the 16th century during the Ming Dynasty. Here's a brief introduction of *Journey to the West*. And this TV show was made 40 years ago. When you are watching TV, you definitely need some snacks. So here's some popular snacks in Guangdong. First one, sunflower seed. They are all fried, so you can eat them straight away. You bite the shell and pick up the seed inside. Being a skilled sunflower seed eater, I can eat them with only two fingers. Second, egg roll. Third, dry pork. Fourth, tangerines. Of course, you need some drinks for the snacks. This is a peach flavor cocktail drinks. This one is less stronger than the baijiu drinks that I introduced in the last episode. The next day morning, we go out to yum cha. Yum cha in Cantonese means drink tea, but actually it's not just about drinking the tea. It's about eating a lot of dessert that's served in small portion, so you can eat different things in one meal. Now let me introduce you some classic yum cha dish in Cantonese. Zin gao, which means fried dumplings. Pai gu, which means pork ribs. Gum qi tou, literally means money belly. It's made of stomach of an ox. Ngao yu yun, which means beef meatball. Feng zao, literally means phoenix claw, but it's chicken claw. Chicken is the ground version of a phoenix, and phoenix is the sky version of a chicken. Fu pei yun. Bean curve skin roll, siu mai, steamed dumplings in Cantonese style. To be honest, I'm not very happy about this siu mai. The chef is not doing a great job. And the last one is tao mi. Again, the chef is not doing a great job. Serving food in a round table means reunion. So in a Chinese restaurant, it's quite common to see this kind of round table, and there is a glass platform that can go around, which make it easier for you to pick up the food from the public plate. The best part of this restaurant is there is a nice garden where you can see a lot of fish named jing li in Mandarin and gam lei in Cantonese. Gam lei is a type of lucky fish in Chinese culture, so I'm trying to feed them with some fish food. I wish they can bring me good luck in this year, like make my channel grow, receive some likes and comment from you. Nice. The name of this hall, Long Feng Ting, literally means Dragon Phoenix Hall. Classic. In the evening, we go out again to see fireworks, but this time it's not some random fireworks set by the citizens. This time it's for real. It's the fireworks shows held by the local government. Like I mentioned before, Chinese New Year is the most important festival in the whole year, so it's very common that the local government will hold the fireworks shows for the citizens to enjoy. After the firework shows, we decided to have one more meal, xiu ye, which means late night meal in my dictionary. Like I mentioned before, Guangdong is located in the south part of China, where the weather is not so cold in the winter. So it is the perfect place for night market economics. 
Here we are in a small town, but still you can see the lights and cards and a lot of people eating in the restaurant. We order this seafood porridge and fried egg with pickled carrots, fried taro with sugar, and some healthy vegetables. Even after we finish the meal, there are still a lot of cards on the street and a lot of people still eating in the restaurant. Now it's time for me to go home. Here is my fancy tiny little electric cards with four seats. For most of the people, the Chinese New Year is simple as that, just eating, drinking, walking around for the whole week. Thanks for all the people still serving us during the Chinese New Year. Start from the 8th day of the new year, most of the people already got back to their work. Everyone's looking forward to the next new year. That's the story of my Chinese New Year. Thanks for watching. I'm Mandy. I'll see you in my next video.